go, 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 go. <laughs> Please state your name and where you're from. My name's Lindsay. I'm yeah. from St. Louis. St. Louis, Missouri? Mm-hmm. I say Missouri because I'm out of the... Is that what you say? You're, I'm out of Missouri? Missouri. Are you mocking me? No. St. Louis, eh? That's where they have those things. Where do they go again, Jeff? What's that? <laughs> Are you even awake? No, man, We're trying okay. to get the show started. We're I trying know, to get man. it going. I'm playing around, man. All right, all right. What's going on over there? All right, so St. Louis. Yeah. Yes. Yes. What do you do in St. Louis? I'm a nurse. A nurse? We had nurses the other night. Is this becoming a nurse thing? <laughs> Are they sending you guys here as part of your training? Yeah. Are you a psychiatric nurse? Is that what it is? <laughs> Sometimes. Are you really? Sometimes. Okay. <laughs> You married? No. Dating? No. <laughs> you looking for something? Maybe. <laughs> what you looking for? Skeleton? Horse? <laughs> what kind of thing are you after? Horse. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's stay with humans, shall we? <laughs> So, what's your ideal man, then? <laughs> if, if it is a man, I mean, it might be a woman. I'm like, no judging. I, I'm like, I'm cool, whatever it is. The man, woman? Man. Man, okay. Uh, what are you looking for in a man? Tall. Teeth? Yeah, teeth. Teeth. teeth are great. Uh, <laughs> so, I uh, probably want to stay away from uh, Scotland, then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I got these when I came to America, you know. <laughs> They meet you at the airport where they're like, well, to America, there's your teeth. <laughs> I was like, thank you. <laughs> well, um, guess what? What? Good news. Okay. I found you a boyfriend. Sweet. Yeah, he's uh, animatronic and gay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but he has a heart of gold and knows what to do with one of his hands. Perfect. <laughs> it's a start. No, we're going to send you to a swanky Hollywood eatery, aren't we? What, what one? Sewer. Sure. Sewer? Sure, that's the one, Lisa Vanderpump. You know that uh, Beverly Hills housewife, Lisa Vanderpump? Mm -hmm. That's her restaurant. That's where she Vanderpumps. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Have you ever seen a Vanderpump before? No. <laughs> it's quite a sight. <laughs> uh, are you here with you? Are you here with these uh, mm -hmm. these ladies there? We'll send you all. You can all eat for free on CBS's dime, and I really mean it when I say dime. <laughs> we'll be right back. We'll be right back. with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Progressive. Visit Progressive.com today. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson.
the dial down to zero on the audience machine. <laughs> little titter there. Boy. Yeah, just you turn the dial up on the audience machine and a little titter happens. Is that right? Yeah, you yeah. know, if, yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> See, see, yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah. I moved it down and I'm like, ah. <laughs> they're very frightened. I can tell they're frightened. Yeah, they're frightened. very scared. Yeah. 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 Kind of like, we're not a machine. <laughs> You're my machine. <laughs> I'll bend you to my will. <laughs> it's quite a weird crowd, isn't it? Yeah, you, I, like you get that. I like that. I, yeah. know they're, I know they're frightened. I can tell they're frightened. But don't worry, I'm not going to frighten you like the horrible warm up comedian. We call him a comedian, he's not really a comedian. No. <laughs> I'm not going to scare you and bully you and say, Oh, you better laugh, you guys, or you'll get thrown out! We've got security, we can throw you right out on your ass! Anyway, have a good time! <laughs> no, the long reign of terror is over. Now it's just the foreign douche. Come on, guys, he's coming out quick. My job depends out. on it, please, come on! Yeah, yeah. like to send the warm-up comedian, we call him a comedian, he's not really a comedian, uh, I'd like to send him around all of the houses, the half a dozen houses across America where people watch this show, Right. and he could warm up you folks at home, he could warm you up at home, he could come into your house and go, give me thunder! And he, he could do this. Yeah, I like that. He could do this like to you, that. he could come to your house and do this to you, but he's got very sausage -y fingers. <laughs> Careful what you woo for, madam. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's a great day for America. <laughs> hey, but, but it is not, not such a great day for the IRS. Finally, the IRS are in trouble. Please don't audit me. They have a... <laughs> I love the IRS and their fair ways. <laughs> They've got a new boss after it came out there and fairly targeted the Tea Party groups. You know the Tea Party? Sure, yeah. Yeah. Well, the president says the new IRS chief is not only good with numbers, but he has more integrity than the last guy. That's right, it's Bernie Madoff, everybody. Bernie Madoff, congratulations. <laughs> See what I did? Yeah, yeah. It was a joke. Yeah, it was good. No, Ber yeah. Bernie Madoff's in jail. <laughs> and we're laughing about it. Well, he was a bastard. I mean, I think that's fair to say. Yeah, it? yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not funny, but it's true. No, he's a, he's a jerk. Yeah. <laughs> so I think what we're doing tonight, the show is more like a documentary, really. It's yeah, not, right. It's not right. funny, but it's true. It's true. That's right. <laughs> anyway, the real reason it's a great day for America, of course, is we have a new American Idol. Hooray! <laughs> I couldn't believe who won when I watched it earlier on tonight. <laughs> Congratulations, you! <laughs> you had me when you sang that song about love and stuff. And then the fans of the other person were like, boo! And Randy Jackson was like, dog! And, and you were like, yeah! And then you were crying and everyone was like, yeah! <sighs> I don't watch that crap. Anyway, look, the, it's not crap, it's awesome. If you like it. I, I don't care. Uh, you watch it? No, it's crap. I don't care for it. Anyway, they're in trouble uh, in, the, in the ratings these days. They're, they're, they're down 40% since last year. Is that bad? <laughs> I think we might be in a little trouble too then. <laughs> No, they're down 40%. This is true. This season, uh, this season, American Idol was beaten by Duck Dynasty in the ratings. <laughs> How dare you? Or maybe yes, that's true. I don't know. Duck Dynasty, you know the show with the two dudes sitting there in the tree? They're like, that a duck? No, that ain't a duck. That ain't a duck. That's a quail. <laughs> that's the show that be American Idol. That ain't a duck. That's a duck. If you don't know Duck Dynasty, it's like Honey Boo Boo if you replaced uh, the little girl with a duck. <laughs> so you get the hold it loud on ding dong quack. There goes a mallard right there. Oh, <laughs> Anyway, you can tell Fox is panicking. The rumors are they're getting rid of all the judges, and one of the judges is Keith Urban. He's married to Nicole Kidman. She's very upset. When she heard about it, she went, 
<laughs> when she heard about it, because she, she's Australian, of course, she, she went like this. She went. She went. What? Quack. Here goes that mallard again. Yeah. That ain't a mallard. That's Nicole Kidman right there. Quack. <laughs> And there's been a lot of judges over the year. My favorite was that gorgeous singer with the long hair. What's her name again? Steven Tyler. Ah, she's awesome. Do you have a picture of Steven Tyler? There she is. Uh, we got odd. Finally, they woke up and awed me. That's yeah. what it was. Yeah. The most famous judge, of course, was Simon Cowell. He came up with a catchphrase, you're going to Hollywood. Then he left to host The X Factor, which is like American Idol, but a bit more fabulous. Do you, you got a picture from The X Factor? Uh, yeah, that's a little... What the hell was that? That was like Duck Dynasty with a little more facade. <laughs> That's like, Duck! Like, your guy to Hollywood. West Hollywood. <laughs> it was a good catchphrase, though, that you were going to Hollywood. Yeah, 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 like yeah that, I wish yeah. I, I, I tried to come up with a good catchphrase. CBS told me I had to stop using it. Apparently, no one wants to end their long day by hearing me say, See you in hell, amigos! <laughs> I think it's good. Don't I you? like that. Yeah. See you in hell, amigos. They were like, that's not nice. I'm like, people will like it. No, that'll that'll uh, go viral. Although I don't know what I don't know what people like because what people like more than singing, more than singing, is guys going, that ain't a duck. <laughs> what? Damn, that duck's got a big ass forehead. That's one of them Australian forehead ducks right there. Shoot it. <laughs> Shoot it? Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying. I'm nah, playing nah. Playing a part, man. You know, a you know who, you know, I wonder who they're going to get to judge American Idol next year. Probably people who were once at the top of their fields, now they've got a little bit of time in their hands. So they could maybe use, uh, you know, maybe the old Pope. You know, the one who quit. <laughs> gonna have time in his hands next year uh who jay leno jay leno mate yeah yeah he, so you get the the pope <laughs> the old pope and leno i yeah i think i'd be good i think i think the old the you know pope classic and and leno would be good judges like i'll be i'll be the uh the german pope right and you be uh jay leno right okay all right then. i'll be jay leno all right all right, all right and i'll be the pope, pope. right okay right. your singing sounds a little pitchy <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true story, true story, true story. That's cold, Jay. Is that, is that a duck over there? I think it's a duck. Mm -hmm. Yes. Shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that, uh, that worked out. That was, that was another great. classic late night television monologue yeah. right there, wasn't it? We just, uh, wait, this is the Duck Dynasty of late night, I think. That's really. it, that's right. Yeah, we're the two guys in the tree. <laughs> Me and my buddy Jeff. Man, got all them people out there laughing out there. See me? Nah, they, ain't, they ain't all laughing. I'm looking at someone's laughing, something ain't laughing at all. A couple, couple of surly ones in the bunch there. I've seen uh, there. Surly ones. I don't like the surly ones. <laughs> you all right? What, what are you doing? What's that? Your fluff, what is it mating season? What are you doing? <laughs> what is that? What are you fluffing? You're, you're, ba -bark, ba -bark, you're being a duck? You're being a duck. Get me, uh, get me out of here? You want to get me out of here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll get you sure. out of here. Sure. Uh, uh, yeah. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the... Uh, the 
the big deal. We're going crazy tonight. Things right? are out of control, we're man. We're out of control. Why, Jeff? Why? Because, we're... because we're insane. We're ins... No, don't say it. It's insensitive. We got the uh, psychiatric nurse here. It's oh, not like it. <laughs> Well, we're from St. Louis. We, we had a nice time when we were in St. Louis. Didn't very, we? very interesting. That, that, they've got that big arch there, that giant arch. Yeah. <laughs> what else have they got? Do you remember what else we saw? Got, uh, oh, there water. There's a lot of water there. Some nice water. <laughs> big body of water. Yeah, I believe there was a body of water. Yeah. Uh, and, um, what else? I, I think I saw some cars. A lot of cars. A lot of cars. Concrete. <laughs> No, the uh, cars weren't concrete. No, no, the, not the, they were on concrete. So. Oh, man. <laughs> this is the last uh, of my uh, shows that I'll be 50. Tomorrow is my birthday. I'm going to be 50. Oh, that's right. Yeah, wait, no. Oh, no. 51. 51. 51. Well, I, it's time to take take stock, to reevaluate, to think about my life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it isn't. Uh, <clears throat> what time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? It's tweet mail time. Hey, other late night guys, our warm up person has sausage fingers. <laughs> does that does that make us part of the late night gang? Yeah, sure. The late night gang of yeah. dudes that are all friendly with each sure, other. And yeah, stuff? we're all pals. <laughs> yeah, everybody loves each other. We all live in the same house. It's like the monkeys. And we all sleep in bunk beds, and then we all slide down a pole when the bell rings, and we come to our respective studios and deliver the pre-recorded live comedy. <laughs> all right. Um, do you want to do a tweet mail jingle? Yeah, sure. All right. It's kind of a big this finish. Is, there. Well, what, what? It's a big finish. I had a big finish. Yeah, yeah, it was. But well, let's do it again. Well, all right. The and yeah. <laughs> Please don't. No, all right. No. <clears throat> uh, this is from Laura in Setucket in New York. Have you ever been to Setucket? Setucket, yeah. Oh, uh, what a place, Setucket. I, you know, I know a poem about Setucket. Oh, yeah? Yes. <laughs> Care to, uh... Care to share? See you in hell, amigos! <laughs> um, this is from Clarissa, Knoxville, Tennessee. You ever been Beautiful there? Place. Ah, what Beautiful a place. place. You know what they got down in Knoxville? Yeah. They got that, what's that called again, that thing? Uh, the concrete. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Craig and Jeff, I love your show. My school friends say there's no way you will ever read my email on your show because they are fake, but I have faith. Can you prove me right? Afraid not, they are fake. Um, this is from Joy in Great Falls, Montana. I don't even tell. Joy's, uh, Joy's some kind of crow or Ooh, raven. Wow. Uh, yeah, he's picked us out. Very smart bird, the crow. Uh, it can, uh, it can oh, yeah. do, uh, a lot of them can do kung fu. That's true. They dabble in the martial arts. Yeah, they do. You, I'm telling you, you, you step the wrong way near a crow, they'll hut. <laughs> That's a crow doing kung fu. I like that. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Ah, ah. <laughs> See when you hear crows making that noise? That's them practicing. <laughs> uh, the, uh, this Joy says, uh, "Hey Craig, if you're reading the emails, it's donut time for me." Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, whatever. Sails your boat, I guess. <laughs> This is from Susie in Las Vegas. You ever been to Las Vegas? Oh, what a place. Ah, oh, yeah, but they go Las Vegas. Ah, y'all. Uh, <laughs> see you in hell, amigos. <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff, what kind of guy forgets his girlfriend's birthday two years in a row? A single guy. <laughs> this is from Deanne in Sausalito, California. I love it up there. And also, I enjoy Sausalito. Yeah. See yeah. what I did? <laughs> There's your innuendo right there. Ah, y'all. Uh, I'm planning my first trip to Paris. Any suggestions or warnings about how to deal with the French? Just pretend to be French. They'll be fine. <laughs> and finally, this is from Marie in Staten Island, New York, who says, Hello, Craig and Jeff. Do you like tortilla chips? <laughs> you like tortilla chips? <laughs> you like, you don't like no, tortilla they, they, chips? They go right through me. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I've got the cast and vote then on tortilla chips. 
Let me think about it with some calming music. goes my first guest <laughs> I think that's a great catch it's a great phrase yeah uh, my first guest is performing tomorrow night at the Pantages Theatre in Tacoma Washington on a Saturday night and the Tower Theatre in Bend Oregon also you can see him in behind the candelabra <laughs> just doing my thing it, which premieres May the 26th on HBO I'm looking forward to this oh, that thing. looks great yeah yeah it does uh, take a look at this A spectacular clip from you know your what? upcoming HBO movie. <laughs> yes, so Michael Douglas it plays play, Liberace, right? Yeah. And Matt Damon plays his his uh, scorn partner. I I who sues him, and I I play uh, Matt's attorney. So it's it's a it's a movie really about a lawyer. <laughs> and this and is I the could, longest clip we could find of you in the, the movie. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. Well, and I'll tell you something. I, it, the movie's about two. No, uh, that's his collector's item, by the way. I know, I'm yeah. collecting it. <laughs> the, the movie's about two hours. I'm in it, uh, I'm going to say total, if you add up all the scenes, uh, 11 seconds. <laughs> but you know what? I, you know, here's the thing about me. I, you don't have to be really in the movie. You don't have to be in every scene. No, no. no. That's, that's crazy. That's, an amp, that's a rookie mistake. Exactly. Yeah. And it's only insecure people. So Michael Douglas, oh, he's no, well, in the yeah, yeah. Put me in the movie. I'll wear a wig, boogie. Yeah. Wiggy, boogie. Well, yeah. I don't need that. You don't need that. I sit back. Because sometimes, and I think you know this, less is more. I've never tried that. No, but yes. I, uh... <laughs> No, but you think about actors, you know, you can do less. Like, you remember Denzel Washington in Argo? Remember I... that performance? He, yes. No, he, well, he wasn't in it. But that's right, my, right, yeah, right. But that's, that's my point. And yet, still a great actor. Oh, And I'm... it's a great movie. That's true, yes. so nobody loses he there. He doesn't have to be in it. He doesn't have to be in it. Why? A great actor doesn't need to be in, a, in every movie. That's a great actor what I'm is just, saying. Yeah. But if you look time after time, there's mm. movie after movie, I don't feel the need to be in them. <laughs> I waited point, it out. I waited out. Yeah, yeah, but at a certain point, your fans, your crazed legions of, of you know, the, the Riserettes, yes. they call themselves, well, they follow coming. you around. Uh, and that they, day is coming. Well, in America, there'll be, a, there'll be a reckoning, I'll tell you that. Uh, what, of Riserettes? So, raisinets. I'm raisinets. Yeah. I thought you, you said like raisinets. I, I like raisinets. You like raisinets? I like raisinets. Uh, they look a little bit like poop if you have a do. small you animal. Have a in the house. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. If you have a rabbit, you don't want to buy raisinets in the area. No. Do you have a rabbit <laughs> with you? Did you just? <laughs> You got me on the with you. You got me on the with you. Because I knew I wasn't... Because, was yes, I do. Oh, no, you don't. No, um, you know what? But I like that you said it very slowly as if suddenly you realized, you know, I don't think Paul is hearing anything. You, <laughs> do no. you own a rabbit? Well, I tell you why I said that. <laughs> no, I, because I didn't know what I was asking you, so I was giving myself time to ask it. So I was like... <laughs> Do you and then have, the, have a like and I'm have a, uh, a and hair piece? Yes. You have hair piece? Yeah. Rabbit? And, and you know what I was thinking? I hope he says rabbit. I hope he says rabbit. <laughs> and then I then, then, then no rabbit. No, no, no rabbit, no hair piece. So you're good. Yeah, yeah. no hair piece, no rabbit, and very little screen time in the candelabra. Well, 
yeah, it's but okay, you know but you're doing the stand-up again, which is yeah. sensational. That's good news. You're a great stand-up. You, you, stand, you haven't stood up for ages. I haven't stood up. I've been... Yeah. Uh, I'm mostly sitting. I've yeah. been mostly sitting. I well, you you've always been doing it, right? I, I kept at it. It's yeah. my way of you know keeping autonomous with a <laughs> powerful CBS. Yes. Claw of yes. You know what I mean? Yes, the claw. Yeah. I I had always I, I started in stand up and I kind of put it on the back burner and I missed it and I'm going out now and I'm having just the greatest time. You got to do it. You got to do it. It's I had to, it, and it has changed though because I was I was a younger man mm. when they started when I when I last did it and not when stand up was invented. I'm, right. Yeah. I'm just yeah. saying <laughs> when when I started. And like a year or two ago, I called up the club, and I and it's been a while. I said, hey, can I come down? Can I do some material? They said, great, yeah. The show starts at 10. And I said, at night? Ooh. Yeah, no, oh. I, that's no. 10 o'clock, it's crazy. Yeah, you can't, you can't no, start at 10. No, so I do a nice noon, a nice noon <laughs> show. A little nap after lunch. Did you, ever, did you ever do the three shows on a Friday and Saturday? Did you oh, ever do oh, I think right. the record was seven. I won seven, seven. Seven shows in a day? Yeah. It, well, in New York, where I started, there were three, three, there were a bunch of clubs. And if you timed it just right, you can go club to club to club. And I once did seven, but it's a frightening thing because yeah. you don't know what you've just done. What you done. said, yeah. I said, I did I do this now or was that a half an hour ago? The other. It's, that's what it feels like, apparently, when you cheat on someone. <laughs> it's like. Did I say you look great? Did I say? Did I do all that? Did, did you, I have dinner? Did you have a rabbit? <laughs> Not with me, I'm afraid. No, but I was going to say, did you ever cheat on on seven uh, women at one time? Because that. I don't even know what that means. Uh, uh, that would with be, seven women. No, well, well time, first of all, night, uh, that I night. would I would never do that, nor am I condoning it. Oh, oh, no, but no I'm just way. saying. I'm just saying. No, seven but, seven is too much for anything. Really. I don't. Think, That's my point. I don't think my score is seven. <laughs> I don't think my actual number is seven. Have you ever had seven rabbits? <laughs> Yes. At once. Are we talking at once or... A, <laughs> seven uh, rabbits yeah. on you. No, you have uh, seven rabbits. Well, have I ever been attacked by a marauding herd of rabbits? <laughs> have you? Strangely enough, no. But... What? <laughs> but I was once menaced by ducks. In what... What, what did they do? Because I am curious. Well, they didn't do much, but I was tripping very badly on LSD at the time. <laughs> And they were nearby, so they were like, Mah, So they Mah. might not have been menacing you. I don't think they were actually menacing me, but the, the quacks take, well, like, when you're tripping really badly, yeah. uh, I'm going to guess. Ooh, I, I ducks are not your friends, no. you know. <laughs> <coughs> uh, they're not my friends anyway. I mean, I'm, not, I'm nothing against them. I'm just not really a duck person. No, but I, I grew up in New York. We had pigeons, and, and I wasn't attacked. Well, you had pigeons as a family? No, we, we had them roaming the city. Oh, I see. But yeah. they were ours. I, I sense they were ours. You own the New York pigeons? Well, we, they're the greatest team in the we, we, friend. <laughs> we don't own them out. Right, we lease to own. And right, okay, own yeah, yeah. But, uh, but they were very tough, and they, would, they, would, uh, they wouldn't attack you, but they would... They would they would intimidate you. They would, they would, as you walk into your car, they would oh, say yeah. stuff, you know, hey, sweetheart. Hey, you know, they, they what's would, up? Yeah. 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 yeah they you know, like, I once saw a pigeon in New York. This is true. I, I saw a pigeon in New York taking a piece of gum off the sidewalk. Wow. Yeah, it was like, and it was stretching, and the... Uh, well, that, this, that might have been one of mine, because yeah. we trained them to clean up the area. Right, and so, but then when they got the gum, it was like... Yeah. With what did they expect? Well, they got... They, has a pigeon ever said, wow, that's fresh? No. <laughs> <laughs> They're not going to get, they never get first crack at anything. No. Yeah. And I think would if you, if you were really hungry, right? If you were really, really hungry, would I eat a pigeon? Yeah. Or would I eat the gum off a of New York Street? Which, which, which? Well, all right. What would you rather eat if you were really hungry? Gum off a of New York Street or a New York pigeon? But you could cook the pigeon. But you'd have to do it yourself. Well, you pose an interesting question. Uh, what? What? That's, I, I, I try never to do that. <laughs> I, you know what? That's a tough one. I, 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 I'm going to say I'm going to go for the gum because I know it's not going to fly away and just it's not going to make me, you know, worse. It's not going to get worse later in the day. Well, no, a I pigeon think might develop. No, I think you'd have. To, I would go for pigeon first. You got protein there, and also, <laughs> who knows what's in the gum on a New York City? Yeah, that's true. I mean, it could have been anybody. It could have been anybody. There could, that could be Trump's gum. Well, that's even worse. That's even worse. He'd be like, guy, yeah, think big, <laughs> and he. Uh, <laughs> Spits his, his winner yeah. gum on the sidewalk. I would, and I would imagine that's a bit of a collector's item in New York. People go, you know, who, you know who sat there? That was, you know who spit that? Donald Trump. No, you know why you know it's not Trump? It was Because it doesn't have Trump written across it. That's why. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's the joke. That's the joke. That's the joke. We got to the joke. We got to the joke. So this is, why, this is why you get to do this every night. I do uh, a 10 o'clock, then I sleep for a couple of days, and I go out again. Well, I don't know, I don't know how you can stay up this late, because it's, you know, 12.37 in your region. <laughs> 
It's good to see. I'm really yeah. glad to see you're back at the stand I am, and That's every, good news. For I, it, I am having fun, and, and it, it's having a great time. And, uh, you know, for, bring the family. Come and, come and see a show. See how it's done. <laughs> okay, I will. Paul Reiser, everybody. Paul Reiser. See you in hell, amigos. My, uh, <laughs> my next guest is a lovely and beautiful actress. Very, very clever actress. Very, very good. Uh, I'm, I'm a fan. Oh, yeah. Very lovely. She's in a new show, Mistresses. Mm-hmm. <laughs> On ABC. Take a look at this. When he told me it was set. If I had a nickel for every time I'd said that. <laughs> Yunjin Kim, everybody. Yunjin Kim. Girl, you look sensational. Thank you, thank you Just so much. Just sensational. I mean, really, a little, <laughs> a little bit behind the candelabra. Very nice, though. Thank you. I realize, you know, it's been five years. I was here five years ago. Really, that long? Yes. Wow. The old stage. Yeah. You didn't have that. That thing? That no, thing. I didn't have that. And then that thing that you know, I thought it was a cow. I'm like, oh, there's a dancing cow. It's supposed to be a horse. Man. And you don't I'm want to sorry. piss off the horse. You that know, horse I'm is sorry, mean. I'm sorry. You get going. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yes. With yeah. blue eyeshadow, nice. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah, no, you, you all right? You good? I mean, yeah, yeah I'm good. Yeah. You know, uh, you know. Help yourself. Who, who, yeah. You know, it's just my opinion, but I would have gotten a band. Well, I would have too, but you need money for that? Uh, <laughs> whereas uh, two uh, production assistants and a horse costume and an appliance, it costs about 40 bucks a show. We're fine. <laughs> It's absolutely fine. <laughs> now, this show looks uh, very kind of... It's hilarious, obviously. Hilarious, yeah. 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 It's not a comedy at all. No, no, no not it's at about all. about mistresses. Uh, no, it's very serious. Yeah, I could but see. But don't let the title fool you like Duke Dynasty. What, Duck Dynasty? Uh, Duck Dynasty, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, Duke, I, Di Duke Dynasty is I've a gambler I know in Vegas. I've never yeah. seen the show. And your producer just explained to me what the show is all about. Duck Dynasty? Duck Dynasty. Yeah. Now I'm going to go home and watch it. But like Duck Dynasty, like mistresses, it's not all about, you know, a bunch of women just whoring around. Well, that's, right you're not selling it very well to me right now. Well, we have that too. Okay, I'm in. That's fine. Because Do you have ducks TV, though? Is there duck shooting in it? No, we just have a bunch of women whoring around. That's fine. Home. That's fine. And having a lot of sex. But yeah, but network sex. Yeah, so, you know, yeah. it'd be a lot of. Disney. Sex. We'll be right back after these messages. Right, 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 sex. Right, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's all right. That's Have all you right. been back to Korea much? Have you gone back a lot? Yes, I just came back. Really? Korea. I actually live there. Oh, really? I feel like I come out to LA just for work. That's a long flight, though, isn't it? It is. It's about 12 hours. I... Coming, going back takes about 13 hours. And then you cross the date line, so you arrive before you left. Right. And you, you're... Yeah, you lose a day when you arrive, and you. No, no. You Sorry, you lose a day when you go to Korea, but when you come back, you gain a day. <laughs> How, what is it like over there right now? Was everybody like really freaked out when the North Koreans uh, were going all like setting up all the missiles and stuff? Were they like, oh, what the hell? Yeah, it, it got it got pretty. Intense. Yeah, I know. Like over here, Californians were like, what? You know, <laughs> and like it's a pretty long way away, and you yeah. can tell Californians are upset because it starts to melt. The Botox, and then, like, like, the Botox. Yeah, people were like. I'm so afraid. <laughs> All my friends are like, come back to L.A. What are you doing in Korea? No, it got pretty serious. It's yeah. calmed down now again, though, hasn't no, it? No, it's down again. It's up again. I mean, you know, I think it happens every four years. Is it something to do with the Olympics? No, actually, I don't know. It just happens, like, every couple of years. Maybe maybe the, the new president has something to do with it. I, I don't know. know. Man, it's, it's too political. 
I think everything's too political. Yeah. Especially politics. I remember the good old days when, <laughs> when politics was about people getting drunk and shouting at each other. And that, now they're all talking about policies and calling. It just does. It's not as much yeah, fun. Yeah, no, I know. Not you, as much as doing a TV show about mistresses. Oh, all right then. Let's see. Uh, so who else is in the show with you? Alice Milano. Oh, she's good. Is she a mistress? She has a mistress because she's the married one. And wait, she's wait. an affair with, with a, a worker. No, not with a Well, we have... That would be awesome! We have some of that going. Mm. Uh, some... some uh, with sort another of, character. Right. Yeah. And do they get into a pillow fight, maybe? <laughs> or a steamy shower. Or they like, it's so oh, hot, it's know. time to take a shower, but there's okay. only one shower and we've got no yeah, time yeah. to wait. We're all women. Let's share. Um, yeah. yeah, it's working for me. I think this show's going to be a huge Am hit. Am I selling it yeah, now? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's doing great. Okay. How about ABC? Are they treating you right over there? I think so. I did the Drew Carey show with them, you know. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They cancelled it. They <laughs> so, but after 10 so years, So then mean, you said, well... Uh, CBS. You know, so I'm CBS. Gonna, yeah, Drew came over here. He did The Price is Right. I came over here and I do this show. They don't know I'm here, but Drew... <laughs> they don't know you're yeah, here. Drew sneaks me in in right, the morning right, right, and I right, come right, in right. and do this show. Right. It's all right. Hmm. What do so you, you do? won't go back to ABC, is that what you're saying? Not unless they ask me. Okay. <laughs> what about, uh, what do you do in your career? Do you do acting in Korea too? Yes, I act in All Korea. Right. I actually started my career back in Korea before Lost. Oh, yeah. yeah. Do people get mad at you at the end of Lost? When they're like, what the hell was that? I left the country. Yeah, because people were like, I knew what that the I, hell? I, knew that I would get some heat. You know, from the ending. Yeah. Uh, because there was a, a writer, a wonderful writer on the show. Who, he was having a lovely dinner, you know, at a beautiful restaurant. And this really nice looking couple came over and said, Hey, are you one of the writers? Because he did a couple interviews. And right. he was like, Yes, thinking like he was going to get, you know, praise. Yes, but a bit of kudos, yeah. But then they just lashed at it. Like, you know, we spent six years and we lost six years. And like we were expecting <laughs> the ending to be something. And and there you go, you know, they got really, really mad at him. Yeah, I, I, it would, it was, so you know I, I was, country. that was I me, right? That was me. That, that, <laughs> no, it's all right, it's That's fine. what you have to do, like, you, if you think something's going to blow over, just leave the country and come back in a year or two. That's what Are I Are you did. listening, politicians? <laughs> That's good Oh, we're advice. back to politics again. Yeah, no, we're, we're actually not back to Are anything, we're done. For, what? For, for an office or... Me running for office? Yeah, I, I think, think so. Why the hell not? Politics, yeah. yeah, I'd quite like to go into politics, but only if I could be evil and have a moustache. <laughs> and continue doing your show. No, secretly, that's not secretly. necessarily a thing. No, <laughs> okay, I, okay. no, as long as I can have a moustache and be evil and Jeff runs as my, as my running mate. And keep your secretariat, of course. Uh, secretary of, <laughs> secretary <laughs> of State. Uh, secretary yeah. of State. He likes that. It's it's just one person in there, or two people. Yeah, it's one very long man with four arms. What the hell? I, I can't see the bottom. Yeah, no, no, it's a uh, it's it's a it's a very complicated okay. series of pulleys and. Yes. You never know. Anyway, we're out of time. Do you want to throw it at the commercial break? What? Yeah, yes. Throw, yeah, go on then. Give it a shot. We'll be right back. If you're going to be in the L.A. area and would like to attend a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, please give us a call at 323-570-0059. Jeff, would you uh, close the show? I'm just warming my mallard by the fire. <laughs> All right, certainly. On behalf of Craig, who's running for Prime Minister of Australia, campaign slogan is, See you in hell, amigos! See you in hell, amigos!